Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Op, 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 Gangnam Style. Op, 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 Blackjack Style. Eh. <laughs> That's an honor to Blackjack, our mini project this week. Or <coughs> next week, I should say, since it's due two weeks from now. <laughs> Sorry for that. I have a fever, so if I'm going a little out of my mind <laughs> or I'm talking too fast, that's blame it all because of my fever. So, what I'll be doing today is my week six video on Coursera for an introduction to interactive programming in Python. I will be covering object-oriented programming, which was also covered by Professor Rixner, and I'll do everything on classes, and I'll show you how that kind of corresponds to the games I like to play or would like to play. <coughs> Before I even show you that, I'll show you a very quick thing on Blackjack and how it works. So first things first, pull up the Wikipedia for Blackjack. It's known as 21, so the point of the game, get as uh, the cards that you want to get as close to 21 or even hit 21, which is called Blackjack. But if you go over, you're busted and you lose all your money to the casino that you're playing at. So, that's that. Um... <clears throat> so, the thing I'll go over first is the class character definition that Professor Richner gave us in the videos. <sighs> Sorry. So... He gave us an init, a name, a health, and an inventory. So it's describing some kind of character. And then he has a grab and get health, those two functions that you can use. Well, instead, uh, I love uh, the idea of open world video games. When uh, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, if you haven't heard that up, uh, haven't heard of that, check it out. But I was in love with it when it first came out because it's the biggest open world game has ever been created. I guess that's debatable, but in my opinion. So I'm kind of basing this on the, the point that in Skyrim, there is a warrior class. And uh, note, if uh, it would be really endearing to me if you could actually try and uh, ask my parents to let me play Skyrim. <laughs> <coughs> well, so what I have here are an init function, a stir function, just like in Mr. Rickner's. And I have uh, four different things. Um or oh, actually three, that tell you what happens to my character. So I'm going to reset this so you can't see that. Def pick up item. So it's just like grab described in Professor Richter's video. All you have to do is grab the item and you say uh, the character dot pick up item. Consume. You take a food out of your list and you say you just ate it or consumed it. And the last one is get attacked by self monster so before i even go over this let me run these two uh no, no i don't need to cover these oh sorry i'm out of my mind today okay so control k let's run it what happens name warrior health 20 inventory uh sword chest plate and pork chop okay and before I even go on, the reason I'm not explaining everything in high detail is because the last video that I tried to make it on, I mean, just my first take, it went over the 15 minute mark, so I'll have to be very brief to cover everything I want to. If you actually are still having problems after you watch this video, which you shouldn't, but uh, if you are, uh, just look at the code and try to see why things happen when they do. So, name, warrior, health, 20, inventory, sword, chest plate, and the almighty pork chop. And that, you can be referenced from Minecraft by Mojang, or Mojang. And that's another video game that I like to play, but I haven't played that one for a while. So, warrior picked up bone arrow. So, warrior's like, why do I need a bone arrow? I have a sword and a chest plate. I do not need a bone arrow. But, unfortunately for warrior, I have not given him the ability to of action to drop that bone arrow. And <clears throat> so he just decides that he's hungry because he's mad and he wants to eat something. And he knows that there is a pork chop in his inventory. So he eats a pork chop. And uh, now, if you can see his stats again printed, his health has gone up by 30. His inventory is now sword, chest plate, and bow and arrow, as the bow and arrow has replaced the pork chop. The places this goes into is the consume and the pick up. So as you can see, <coughs> self.inventory.append, it appends the item, so it's just the bone arrow. Consume is a different story. Not only does it increase your health, 
but also it removes the food in the list so now it's gone so it's kind of replaced by the thing that you picked up but if you didn't pick up anything there would just be no uh, no part of the list there all these weird print statements hanging around loosely they're just to make it look neater with uh, more uh, neatness in theatricalness uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh and um, now let's go to the get attacked and this is kind of the more exciting parts of Skyrim and Minecraft when you find out that there's this monster chasing you and that he wants to eat you for breakfast so warriors unlike um, mages if they get snuck up on they have at least like a one out of three chance to actually survive the ambush the other attack is that when they got attacked once and then they fight them off and then they uh, the monster runs away and the other part is where they get attacked over and over and over again until they die so that's that and let's see what happens and again <laughs> uh, because of this random that I will show you in the uh, get attacked function in the class warrior the uh, the random apparently became two and warrior got attacked by goblin four times and warrior died from the goblin attack <coughs> so in professor Griner's video um, the programming tips uh, he showed us while loops, and now before I say what while loops are, I would like to give a big shout out to all of you who are taking the intro to programming the fundamentals with me. Uh, like to say a big hi and congratulations on the final if you've already taken it, and if you have, uh, if you haven't, well, good luck. Um, and because of we're taking that class, and some of you might not. Uh, we know a lot more about while loops than some of you who have not taken the course uh, do. So while loops, what they do is run the statement, which is like an if, over and over and over again. And like an if, and there's a colon, and then what happens in the if, it runs it just like an if statement, but over and over and over again. So it's kind of like a simple Greek timer that runs itself over and over and over again. It doesn't stop, except for the while loop stops if the statement appears to be false. So get attacked. Success equals random dot random one to three. So if you have watched my canvas timers and random video tutorial, you would know that random is like a ran range function from random, except for the fact that it includes both the first and the second value. So it's completely inclusive. And it helps us immensely because we usually don't exclude the second value. And these are the three possible things that you can do. And it's if success is equal to one or is boolean equal to one this happens and that's how it fights it off now let's see here warrior got attacked by goblin warrior fought it off so nothing happened to his health so that's good good for the warrior now hello success equals two he got attacked by the monster or the goblin and his health is minus equal to 10 only once and this is what happens here warrior's health was reduced to 20 and that's it he escapes without any more scratches except for that one 10 thing and how I'm making these values um, technically universal, because I'm not making a set value, is using the class type to create a kind of universal um, warrior class. So you could take this and put it in uh, maybe a full-fleshed Python Skyrim copy and uh, try and put that warrior class in there. And it should work, because monster in get attacked is very... Uh, Freeform. If I change this to, uh, let's see, giant, and it should work. So, yeah, <laughs> warrior got attacked by giant. Warrior got attacked by giant. Warrior got attacked by giant. Warrior got attacked by giant, and warrior died from the giant attack. So, as you can see, it kind of adapts to what it's doing. And now I will show you the while loop. And first, I have to find it. <laughs> The while loop is actually in the place where he dies over and over and over again. Well, he doesn't die over again. He gets attacked over and over and over again. And it's right in the LF success equals 2. So I wouldn't technically call it success because he's going to die. But while self.health, so that's the warrior health attribute in the character if we were going to make a game. And it says he, the, the warrior guy, gets attacked by the monster. And that's what you fill in. And then an exclamation point. And then self.health is minus equal to 10. So this technically looks exactly like the else statement. The only problem with it is that it runs it over and over and over again. Not like an else. So while the self.health is greater than equal to 
the zero. So it starts off at 30. So it is definitely greater than or equal to zero. It gets minus by 10, minus by 10, minus by 10. And then it becomes zero. It becomes negative 10 because it goes under zero and then he dies. And then it terminates. How come it doesn't keep going negative 10, negative 10? So this becomes like negative 579 million or something like that. Well, the way a while loop works is not like a timer, like I said before. It runs until this little part before the colon is false. So this is currently true. It runs it. And it's again true. It runs it. But if I didn't have this little piece of information right here, it would have a timer error. And I will demonstrate that to you very quickly. And I do believe that Professor Griner also showed us it gives a timer error. So let's try it. Let's find out when it... And now you can see my computer is frozen. And the reason for that is program exceeded runtime limit. Now, oh, it teleported. And that's because that's because my browser entirely lagged. So you have to remember to change the body every once in a while. So save self health minus equal to ten. And let's uh save that once again. And I'll provide you with this link very uh in the forum, so don't worry about that and as you can see it randomly generates each event and that's basically all there is to classes and the while loop as the while loop generates pretty much like a for loop except for it you can make it as uh, flexible as you want uh, depending on the body and the top so you can use like a range almost exactly in a while loop so you can have num plus equals two in here and then num equals zero up here and then you say well num <coughs> is uh, less than zero and then run 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 it that would happen that that could uh, very possibly happen so that's the basics of classes and one thing that I would like uh, for everybody to do and actually I'm going to do this in my free time if I have time to help us with blackjack because in blackjack we have to create three classes as the teacher said we have to have the card the hand and the deck and if you memorize kind of this format how you have this init and then the stir or kind of like the basis of it and then you have these functions you can use otherwise in the class then that can kind of help you for the the deck the hand and the uh, the cards so you could create like a mage class and then like an archer class and that would almost exactly mirror skyrim or minecraft so that would be great uh this is how you would create something to mirror something else and that's basically it all in my video uh, i hope you enjoyed the gangnam style start and the um the Skyrim ending, and if you uh, would care to try, you could actually ask my parents again to uh, let me play Skyrim. <laughs> Alright, well, that's it. I uh, hope you understood uh, many of the information that I t taught, or I tried to teach, and if you are not um, completely sure on what you are um, sure about, try and ask the question in my uh, video comments link, and I'll try and answer it the best I can. And thank you all for your support as it now is in the playoffs. So thank you so much on the comments, the likes, and everything in week four. It was amazing. I have all these comments. It was amazing to read, too. And 52 votes. That's amazing. Thank you all so much. And I suppose if you like, you're probably watching this video, too. So again, thank you so much. And now that it's becoming the playoffs, it's more crucial that not only is my ultimate goal to help you, it's also that iPad is now in sight. So <laughs> uh, thanks for your continued support, and I hope you enjoyed the video.